time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and we're back in the Nerd Cave with another episode of DIY Gasm. The episode where I try to do something to better my house, not knowing anything about the project, and it may or may not work out. So guys, today we're gonna to be working with this right here. This is my air conditioner that I installed, and if you guys haven't seen that DIY Gasm episode, it is up and linked in the video description. But we have a problem, and that is I put this TV right here, this 46 inch Samsung, right in front of the air conditioner because I quite literally have no other place in the room to really, really put it. So now we have to figure out how to get the airflow from the air conditioner around or up and over this screen because right now it's blowing out and sucking it back in and getting stuck in a loop and it is not cooling the room any longer. So guys, we're gonna grab some foam, some glue, and a couple of tools and see if we can solve this problem. Let's do it. All right, now I suspect we're gonna need a couple of tools to do this. First one is something uh, to do some cutting with. We're gonna, and we also got a razor blade. That's probably what we'll be using most of all. A tape measure, because measure twice and cut once. And a T-square, so we can get pieces that hopefully are the right size and fit together. So, and I've got some little tidbits of soft foam here that we can hopefully use uh, to seal it to the air conditioner because any kind of leakage that we have is gonna ruin the efficiency because the goal here is to get the cold air away from the air conditioner so that the air that it's pulling in to recool isn't just cycling the same air, it's pulling in better air. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the grill off the air conditioner because right now the grill is allowing me to do some air redirection but not anything significant with this giant screen and it's just blocking airflow. So we're gonna grab that and rip her off. We don't need that, it's gone now. So now we got air just blasting out of this thing. Actually, the airflow increased quite a bit. I would actually recommend if you're not using that to redirect airflow, pull it off anyways, because that's a hell of a lot more air. So now we're gonna just take a couple of quick measurements so that I know the width and the height of the hole on the air conditioner so that we can cut the foam to fit on that to redirect the air over there. So the goal here is to get the airflow to come out the front and go this way so it's blowing along the wall and this is still sucking in air from this general area. All right, so that's about three inches on the inside. So about three by 17 and a half. All right, so I'm gonna come out about, let's say five and a half inches will be a safe bet. <laughs> if I found my T-square. All right, so my esteemed cameraman, Jay, pointed out that we should probably taper it a little bit so that we don't lose velocity on the air because apparently he's an HVAC specialist. Yeah. All right, that's in the ballpark. And you know what? We need a marking device of some kind. DIY gasm, this is how it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and mark it right there. And then, because we wanna taper it, we wanna taper it until that is out to about five and a half inches. And if you guys know a better way to do this, by all means, tell me down in the comments because I love it when you guys tell me how to do things more better. So we have our first triangle. So we're gonna grab our cutting device and get her done. Here we go. All right. Good enough. We're gonna cut another one of these. You can tell I've never worked with these materials before. Might need some Bondo to make this work. Yes, we did it, we have two foam wedges. I, th I, think, I think we're good. Okay, so now we need to cut a five inch wide piece of foam that's gonna cover the entire ramp. Let's see how this goes. Probably should have invested in a hot wire, but DIY gasm is about just doing things, not necessarily doing them right. Haha, ha, piece of foam. This is not a sharp razor blade at all. Ugh, we need some tape. This is obviously not the clean, the cleanest thing I've ever done. I know it's not long enough. I, did, I didn't account for the slope at it, adding length. It's okay. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Most ghetto thing I've ever built in my life. It's a proof of concept. It's proof, this is just a proof of concept. I mean, it was supposed to be the final thing, but you know, it's, proof of concepts happen. All right, we just need to get it to hold together good enough. This one's upside down. Oh no! Oh wait, no, I think that one's right side up. Yeah, that one's right side up. All right, good enough. We're gonna use the same piece of tape. Recycle. 
Always recycle. Dude, I can market this and sell it on late night television. Does your man cave not stay cool? Do you need a way to make it stay cooler more better? And contact old Barnacle's Nergasm. He'll tell you how. So I'm going to put a little bit more tape down here. So this is our prototype that we have right here that we put together. And if my measurements were correct, we should be able to position this over the mouth of the air conditioner, like so. And in theory, air should be just blasting out this other side. And it is. Okay. We did something right. Air is blasting out of this side. It's very, very cold air. And we don't have any air leakage down here. So, and just we got a little leakage here we got to fix up. But you know what? It works a whole lot better than I expected. All right, you guys probably want to see the blowing action. Ladies. So we're going to tape some toilet paper on this bad boy so we can, you know, visually show you that it works because I wouldn't want you to take my word for it or nothing. Got some TPs for my PPs. Put one more on there for, for good measure. Blue painter's tape. It's wonderful. It's like duct tape, but without the commitment. Okay, we're gonna put it against it. Oh, oh. All right, what do you think of that stream in action, huh? Can we get a confirmation, right? I can't do that with CGI. Look, the airflow has been redirected successfully. What do you think? Is that, is that, is that, is that good, Jay? What do you think? Sit up. <laughs> that actually works remarkably well. All right, so we know that it works. It does redirect the airflow, but now what we're gonna try to do is some experiments to see which way works best in this situation. So now what we're gonna try to do is remove this one right here so that the air coming out is forced to redirect upward and it creates a block so it's not just coming right down and getting sucked back into the AC. And we're gonna see how well that works. All right, so now what we did is we took the top off here so that the air can be redirected in two directions. So now we put it here and you notice a huge difference immediately. Now the air is coming up, it's getting blown out in the room. Like I can feel the air right about here, but I don't feel anything here. So as you're going down, so now the air can only go two ways. It can go back behind the monitor this way along the wall or straight up and out into the room. So we're gonna play around with the two settings and see which one allows the room to stay cooled the best over a couple hours time. All right, so we got Jay over here playing a little Battlefield 1 trying to heat the room up. You can see now with, uh, with our air deflector, I'm gonna use a little temperature probe. You can see the inlet of the air is about 70.5, which is the room temperature. We got it set at 68 and then up above the temperature, see it's cool, 62. 60, that's the cold air blowing out. Now, we're gonna test a couple points in the room. We're gonna test up high. Okay, we're about 68. That's already dropped two degrees since I last tested it. Over there, we're getting about 69. And then clear on the other side of the room, we have 71.5 and we have 72.5. All right, so we tried it in both configurations with the wedge out and with the wedge in. So the air blowing up uh, didn't show us that good of temperature decreases and it was still pretty sporadic throughout the room. So we went ahead and changed it by putting the wedge back in so it was blowing along the wall and we noticed much better results. Like for instance, we'll go ahead and shine our little temperature probe and we're getting 69.5 right here next to the AC. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the other side of the room and shine it along the wall where the air is blowing. You can see the temperature right there is about 66.5 because we turned the AC down. So we're not losing a lot traveling along the wall. We're gonna come over in the black and the temperature does jump to 69 right there. But again, the laser probe isn't ideal for this. But now the most important part is the other side of the room. So right here, you can see we're at 69.5 degrees on the wall and on the far side of the room, we're at about 68. So everything's under 70 degrees throughout the whole room. And before we started, uh, the AC kept kicking off on us when it was getting like as big of difference as like 75 on this side of the room and like 69 over by the air conditioner. Now we just want to finish it up at this point because we want to play some Battlefield 1, honestly. And uh, I don't care how pretty this looks. Oh yeah, next time I should probably get like a wire for cutting foam. Using a razor blade to cut foam sucks. And don't worry about the foam looking all gnarly. We're gonna cover the entire thing in white gaffer tape to make it look purdy. <laughs> That's not the gaffer tape. What are you doing? You're a horrible camera person. Jay, come on, hang with me, dude. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right, so this is the final piece of the puzzle right here. This is the little uh, piece of foam that I eyeballed and cut to fit between the desk and the air conditioner's wedge. Here, watch how it's installed. Get down here, get down here low. Okay, you ready? You ready? See, this, this, this fits with the angle coming up and then slides along there like this. 
and then I have to take move these cables out of the way because the cables are in my way, and I can scoot that down. Well, not without pushing that out of the way, like this. Aha! And now I just need to find a way to fasten it to the piece above it, like that. And now I have a wedge keeping the air from coming around. Although it looks ugly as crap. This is horrible looking. So now I'm gonna wrap the entire thing in white gaffer tape to make it look pretty. The best laid plans. All right, well, I couldn't find my white gaffer tape, so I'm gonna use black gaffer tape, the exact opposite to try to make this look somewhat good. And then maybe we'll paint it at some point, but I just want it all to be one color. It's that OCD thing. <laughs> And now we are all done. It's the wrong color, I know, I get that, but my OCD still required it to be one of the wrong color. And so it's all black, and you can see it's like super strong. All that, all that gaffer tape basically like held everything in place. And now we have a functional custom made duct for the Nerd Cave air conditioner that won't work in any other area. It is specifically custom tailored just for this room, that desk, that wall, that specific air conditioner. I'm quite proud of this, guys. I really am. And I know that's sad. The last thing to do is to attach the final product to the air conditioner. So I got some Velcro here that's got 3M sticky on the back. You can see I already put one strip over here on the air conditioner. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply one more strip down below. <laughs> Not down below there. No, up here, eyes up here. Now, unfortunately, the Velcro does overhang the little filter and I do have to be able to remove this. That's the whole point of using Velcro. So it doesn't stick. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off the excess. Oh, it's so weird having somebody else run a camera while you're doing stuff like this. It's making me nervous. Do you, do you think the warranty is still gonna hold on this? Pop it into place. And now I have two mounting points. All right, so now we gotta put some strips of the opposite Velcro type on here. Hey, did you guys know I used to program computers for Microsoft? And now I'm freaking making foam tutorials on how to make uh, foam ducts for air conditioners. I'm a, very, I'm a very diverse human being. All right, so we're having a problem with the super glue sticking to the backside just because it's, it's very, uh, I don't know what you'd say, like fibrous with the plastic. So what I'm gonna do is put down a little bit more glue and then I'm gonna use some really cool stuff I found out about right here called Instaset. What you do is spray it on the other side that you're gluing to. Super duper toxic. Mm, smells good though. You just lay that down. <laughs> Always keep your fingers moving. You do not want that Instaset to get on the super glue on your fingers because it literally sets it rock, rock hard. All right, so we got two straps of Velcro on here and uh, they're, they're on there pretty good now. So let's see if it'll stick onto the AC. So we're just gonna slide it into place. And get her to just stick on to the Velcro, just like that. Oh wow, that's on there really freaking good. Now we should be able to just turn on the AC. So our little duct, we'll just scoot that over down at the bottom so it's covering everything. We're getting no air leakage through the bottom. The Velcro is actually a decent insulator. We are getting some leakage right there because I didn't have another strip of Velcro. So I'm gonna put one more strip of Velcro in there and then this is done. And the nice thing is because it's all Velcro, I can actually pull it off like this and the bottom too, theoretically pull it out, and now I can still clean the filter, which was a prerequisite. So let me go ahead and just put one more strip of Velcro right there and this is done. Actually, Velcro be damned. I got a little piece of foam here. I'm just gonna use that to fill in the gap. It's actually pretty cool because it's you get to just think about ideas as you go along. You don't always get it right the first time, but you know, like we did earlier, experimenting around and moving things around, uh, we learned the best way to do it for this specific room. And I think that, is what makes DIY gasm fun, guys. It's not necessarily doing everything perfect right out of the box, but coming up with new cool ideas and ways to do things. And I think this razor is officially dead. All right, so here you go. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. And now watch, watch the stringer here. So. Move it down here, and now it's just getting sucked up against there, and there's no, no air coming around here. Like, see, there's no turbulent air coming around. You just go up here, it's massively turbulent. 
coming down here, there's nothing getting sucked around and it's, it can suck in the air from the room. All right, there you guys have it. The final product, it attaches with Velcro. It's very, very simple to remove so I can clean the filter. And it's highly effective because we got to experiment around as we, as we went and get things just the way we want them. All you need is a couple tools to do this and some foam laying around your house. And you can use your imagination. You can also use cardboard in a pinch. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of DIY Gasm. If you guys want to keep watching the series like this, please let me know down in the comments. And also come over and ask me if you have any questions over at Barnacles on the Twitter platform. All right, guys, it's time to go and play some Battlefield 1 because now we got the room temperature under control so Jay and I won't sweat horribly all over each other. See ya. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also, come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.